Ken Fish with Ozark Laser out here on a case, 1150K. We've just automated with the dual max system. This is the case uh, Dozer in previous video we showed up and did a trial run for automation using a VSU because this particular Dozer had electric over hydraulic valve. And we've tied into those DIN connectors on the uh, case valve there. Can't see it from here, but our VSU is mounted off the bell housing down below. This is a jacking cab, so it was pretty easy to, to unbolt the uh, six bolts, tilt the cab, run our cables, and mount the VSU in a nice spot. Our body IMU sensor, you can see we've built a special bracket and mounted it on its side right here in the compartment right out of the way. So we don't have to worry about cables or anything getting tore up on the side of the machine. The re main reason we had done that is down here, it's hard to see on the video but the body actually tapers out you're not a straight you're not straight in line with the uh alignment of the dozer it tapers out to the to, as it goes to the back it comes out away from the machine so to get around that we uh tried out mounting the sensor in that compartment which it seems to perform very very well blade sensor mounted on the back of the blade here found a way to run the cable out the bottom and hook our quick connect here worked out very nice and looks good get up on top our antennas are mounted on top of the cab case gray paint blends in very nice As we come in the cab, MCR3, we've mounted off to the side. We've done a uh, smart knob, so we've got increment and decrement for our auto switch. And control box is mounted down in the dash. Very good spot right there in line with the blade field of view control box it's all right in there works out very well very similar to the position on an m-series motor grader
response is pretty amazing. Case 1150K with Topcon dual max dozer system. First one automated electronically with VSU. Brought to you by Ozark Laser. Thanks guys. See you next time.